Well, another 10 boxes. That was uh, last night's picking along with this morning. I did pick for a couple hours. Well, not even a couple hours, probably an hour and I saw with the rain. As you can see, water running everywhere is out there. We've had six tenths of an inch already. Um, you know, we're supposed to get up to a couple inches. The hard stuff's supposed to come this afternoon. So anyway, I was gonna work down in the mechanic shop down below, but I decided I'd work on clapboards. So let's come on out here. Nice temperature out here. About 65 degrees. It's 73 outside right now. But uh, we even got, this storm's supposed to be bad enough. They've even got a low chance of tornadoes. They've been telling about, so. You know, pretty windy. But anyway, I'll uh, show you what I'm doing. I got my sled here. Move my kindling box over. I chop my kindling up, put them in these boxes, and then they just stack up and come winter time. We can take them in the house one at a time. So anyway, um, yeah, that's my sled that I make my clapboards out of. For those of you who have never seen it before, um, these are rift sawn. Some people call rift sawn radially sawn. They're all vertical grain. Um, before I start playing, and I'm going to explain just a couple quick things. These are not quarter sawn. Okay, quarter sawn is when you take a log, you cut it into four quarters, and there's two ways of sawing that. You can either keep flipping it and taking the inside, um, not the inside, but the outside piece off. And, or on a resaw, you'd be taking the inside piece off, which would be the tall piece. And then you run it through a merry-go-round or spin it either way and run it through again, flipped up the other way. The other way is to use a Sawyer's favorite, which has a dog on bottom, dog on top. You put the piece so that the pie, the round part's down and you just grab one edge of it and you come across it. And you basically, you don't get 100% vertical grain, but you get real high quality wood. It's, it's good. The only way you can get better quality wood than quarter sawn is if you go to rift sawn. Now rift sawn is the best you can get. It's the most expensive to saw. And there are very few, I think there's only maybe two mills in the United States that do rift sawn um, oak as far as boards. There are some rift mills. Um, yeah, I'm drawing a total brain, you know what. Um, anyway, there's a place up in Vermont that does radially sawn or rift sawn stuff. Um, but in their brochures, they call it quarter sawn, which they're wrong on that. I don't care if they've been doing it for 200 years. Quarter sawn's a procedure. It's got nothing to do with vertical grain. That's where stuff gets confusing. A lot of people call vertical grain quarter sawn. It's not. It's a procedure. So this here is rift sawn. And it all ends up vertical grain. Some people call it radially sawn. So anyway, I just wanted to get that out of the way so you'd actually know what we were doing here. So uh, I am gonna be using the mill this summer. I got two big logs down back. Um, if the worms don't get in them too bad and they don't get stained too bad, I'm gonna saw them in the clapboards. But as you know, we've been picking, oh, what did we pick this morning, 400? Yeah, 400 pounds. Last night, after supper and this morning, within an hour, we picked 400 pounds of zucchini. So, yeah, I've been busy, and I haven't really got to the sawmill stuff and a lot of the stuff that I want to get to. But we'll get to that later. So anyway, I got these here. They've been put through the planer one time, and they're still pretty thick. They're a good strong 5 8 Haven't actually measured them. These here haven't been through once, so I'm going to put you on time lapse for a while. I'll run these through one time. By the time I get these through one time, this bag will be full and needs to be dumped. And I'll go in and get Carol because it's a pain in the ass to hold the bag up. And uh, I'll dump that out. 
me and Carol made a batch of zucchini relish. Made 23 bottles. So that's setting out the other way. But anyway, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll prop you guys up and we'll do some time lapse. don't want to stop I just went in and checked right now we're getting three and a quarter inches an hour that's the rain rate you can see it filling up the lawn right there so yeah pretty hard rain and I'll tell you ground is 100% saturated um, you know Maine can't hold any more water not in this area I think most of Maine is the same um, and there's places in the country can't buy a drop of rain. I don't understand it, but you know, it is what it is. We can't change it. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, I'll get back to planing. Um, some of these are real thin, and that one may not plane out to a half inch. That one, if it's too thin to plane out at a half inch, what I'll do is I'll rip it down. Instead of being five and a half for a six inch, I'll cut it to four and a half and we'll make it a four inch. And then that way you're playing it to seven sixteenths. And that way I'll end up with a good clapboard. These both are thin. So I get them once in a while. My set works not real good on my mill. It's homemade. You know how it is. But anyway, I will continue on. I just, uh, Carol helped me put the bag back on. It's a pain in the ass to hold it. And... Uh, She's now repackaging maple syrup. Busy. We're just, we didn't want to open the farm stand today, so we are catching up on a whole bunch of stuff that we've been putting off. So anyway, I'll bring it back when I get this all done. We'll look them over. So I wanted to show this real quick here. Yeah. You can see that step right down there. And there's another one right there. 
That is from the blade heating. This was the first pass. And sometimes, a lot of these logs, you make a first pass when you're doing a rift cut. <clears throat> um, and I don't really know what causes it. You might do 10 logs and never have one try to pinch. And then all of a sudden you'll get a log and you'll go into it and it'll just lay that saw right over to get hot. You'll back out of it, does all kinds of crazy stuff. And you let the saw cool, you go back into it. Usually it cuts its own curve then because it's already released the tension. But as soon as you start cutting again, it does it again. And that's why there's two marks there. And anyway, I was able to get through it after two, three tries. And uh, sometimes it'll pinch it hard enough, it'll stall. Well, it don't actually stall the tractor, but it'll throw the belt. And the belt's pretty tight on it. So you can get into a lot of scrape there, rift sawing. Rift sawing, I should say, not sawing. But when you're doing the type of sawing, uh, that first pass is critical. And uh, <clears throat> Got to be careful with it. So anyway, I'm going to try to see if I can salvage this as a 7 16 uh, 5 inch. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so this clapboard, this side here finished up perfect. So, if I was going to use it, I wouldn't hesitate to run it. Might even be saleable, actually. It's not bad. But anyway, yeah, I think we're going to salvage it. So we've got around 75 clapboards finished. And... Uh, the only thing that's got to be done now is the ends trimmed on them, which is another hour's work or so. But anyway, yeah, that's how I do the clapboards. So anyway, it's still raining now. Not hard, but it's still raining. We'll go over here to a window, don't have a screen on it. See here what it looks like outside. Yeah, you can see water everywhere. It's, uh, I guess it's pretty much done raining now. It was raining a half hour ago. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Me and Carol got a lot done today. We picked uh, 400 pounds of squash. And, uh, well, that was yesterday and this morning. And uh, we re-bottled a bunch of maple syrup. And Carol did a batch, a uh, triple batch actually, of zucchini relish, because she sells the heck out of that. People keep asking her. So she's finally got that done, and I've got these clapboards finished. So it was a good day, got a lot done. Anyway, hope everybody out there is keeping safe. Hopefully, they're not washing away. Um, 
yeah, take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. And for the dog lovers out there, little Moxie's doing good. Look at that tail go. And Diesel's over here in the big chair, taking it easy. What do you think, Diesel? He don't really respond real good like Moxie, but he's thinking. But anyway, yeah, you gonna look at the camera now? Yeah, <clears throat> I just came up and did some more trimming on the ends while Carol was doing the vacuuming in the house because they chase the vacuum. Drives her crazy. But I got a few of them trimmed up. But yeah, these I didn't even measure them. They're probably eight foot two, eight foot three because I'm going to use them myself and no sense to throw away a good clapboard just to make it eight foot. So anyway, <clears throat> that's what I've been doing. That's it, guys. See you next time.